Hey, welcome back to the number one Christian testimony show here on YouTube, where we help people just like you find Jesus. So today we have this wild testimony about a woman's pet. In the story, the pet was hit by a car, and while the owner was holding the pet in sadness, Jesus started speaking through the animal, and what he said really changed her whole perspective on the situation. This story is crazy. It's almost like the one in the Bible with Moses and the burning bush. It's wild. Please watch to the very end because this story is one that you just don't want to miss out on. Also, like and share this video right now so more awesome people just like you can find Jesus. All right, let's row the clip. Um, there were times where I was just on the floor, couldn't get up off the floor, crying. Um, I didn't want to live anymore. My husband uh, didn't, you know, things were hidden from me out of fear. I just, I didn't want to go on. Uh, my prayer at that point, I was just praying that, you know, Jesus, take me, take me home. I don't want to live anymore. I don't want to go. And this was going on constantly on a daily basis. A lot of it was the medication, the, the seizure medic medication I was on that had a bit, big playing part in my depression. But at the same time, it was, it was horrible. When you're on the floor, you don't want to live anymore. And you can't, you can't really describe why you're feeling like this. You don't have a real, a real strong reason um, to explain why you're feeling like this. There's no excuse to want to end your own life. There never ever is an excuse to end your own life, to want even to desire that. There never is. But um, there is a, a lie that enters into your mind. Um, and sometimes you start to believe it. Well, um, there was a night specifically, I will never forget a night where I was on the floor in my kitchen on the ground. I couldn't get up off the ground and all I did was cry and ask Jesus to take me. I said, God, take me home. I don't want to be here anymore. Take me. I don't want to live. I don't want to carry on. And this was a night where I felt like I was, I was right on the tipping point of doing something to myself. Also guys, if you have a testimony you would like to share on this channel, just go in the description below and there will be instructions on how to upload. And um, this was late at night when this happened. But the very next morning, I had discovered that um, my cat, I know this is, this sounds, uh, for a lot of animal lovers, you could you could say that your animals are a lot like your kids. Your animals are a lot like a piece of you or a part of you or even and other people feels like they're just animals and they don't have feelings or emotions or however you feel it doesn't whatever but but on um, that next morning um my cat that I had fallen in love with not you know I'd only had her for a couple years I had found out that she was hit by a car. And um, it was only maybe, I have to say it was maybe like five hours, five hours later um, from the time that I was asking the Lord to take me and, um, and finding out that my cat got hit by a car. So um, we found her and it wasn't pretty. It was a horrific sight. It was, it was just didn't look good. It didn't look good, especially if it's just, it's, it was, it's, it was, uh, it's grained in my memory forever, um, the image of that. And, um, and in that moment when I was holding my, my cat in my arms, the audible voice of the Lord it was almost it was close to almost hearing me talking to you the way I am now like an audible voice in my in my mind or in my you can think I'm crazy or call me crazy but but in the moment that I was holding my cat in my arms I heard the voice in my mind that this is what you were asking me to do for you. This is what you were praying to me to do for you. 
how much more do I love you? How much more do I love you than I love this cat, that you love this cat? How much more? See, only five hours before I was asking the Lord, I was telling him I didn't want to be here anymore. I didn't want to live. And only five hours later, I was staring death in the face. And I was ashamed immediately. I was ashamed that I even asked God to take me and you... In that moment, the moment that I heard that voice, instantly, in a second, the depression left me. If you have ever wondered about who Jesus is or what this is all about, or if you've ever even had it in your mind, or if you suffer from anxiety or any of those things and you don't know, please, please, it says that Anybody who accepts Jesus Christ into their heart and accepts that he died on the cross for our sins and paid the atonement for our sins and died again and rose. Anybody who chooses to believe it and accept Jesus Christ into our heart says that we will be saved. And it's true. It is so real. Even if... I, I pray that even if you have just a curiosity about it, just even if you've never prayed before, just say, God, please show me. Show me what it means to know who you are. Show me, help, help me to understand what this is all about, what, what this is all about in regards to um, stepping into being a Christian or believing who, you, who the Lord is. And, and just know that, I have, to, I have to come out and say this too, is that having a relationship with Jesus Christ is not going to church. It's not a religion. It's not a structured religion. God says he wants to have a relationship, an intimate relationship with us. He desires for us to be intimate with him, which means praying to him, talking to him, being in his word, getting to know who he is and being in it every day because the word is sharper than a two-edged sword and it stands against any of the schemes of the enemy. When you feel tempt, like, you know, the evil thoughts that come into your mind or the temptation to do something or you feel angry for no reason you can't explain. It's all the enemy really trying, trying to keep you angry and keep you away from the Lord. And the word of God is what gives you that supernatural strength to withstand against the enemy and against any of the anxiety, the depression, the, all of that. And it's only when we're in the word that we can stand strong and when we're praying to God and to be prayerful constantly, to get, in, to get down on our knees in our private time, outside of church, in the home, not just on Sundays. And so I pray, I pray that if any of you have that curiosity, you just pray this, it's a simple prayer. Say, Lord, I have sinned I have done many bad things um, that I know I were wrong. God, I pray that you would please um, just look into my heart and please forgive me for everything that I've done. God, I'd like to accept you into my heart that your son came onto this earth as your son and died on the cross for my sins. I pray, God, that you'll send your Holy Spirit into my heart. I pray that you help me to understand I want to choose to believe that your son, Jesus Christ, came on the cross and died for my sins and rose again. And it's just simple as that. It's very simple. And do it with all your heart and mean it. And God will see. God will see your heart.